every human being has a sense that beneath the surface of things there is something that reminds us of something truer and something more beautiful. In our context, we speak of the, the day of Alastu bi Rabbikum, Ruzi Alast, the day when all souls were brought together and they were invited to speak and to testify. And they said, Bala Shahidna, after Allah asks, Am I not your Lord? Alastu bi Rabbikum. And everybody said, Yes, we bear witness. And this Shahada, this bearing witness, which has as its most perfect form the shahad of Islam, la ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah, which is, takes us right back to that moment, that rose, that day of alastu bi rabbikum. That remembrance is within each one of us, that recollection. And we have that natural desire to return to that place. Physical body will go down like the Queen of England, into the ground, but the soul wants to fly. We're not just clay, there is another part in us, and that part explains morality, beauty, art, sacrifice, all of the things that make us Bani Adam. The clay part doesn't explain it, there's something else. Ruh, spirit, that part of us which the angels bow down to in Sayyidina Adam, what an extraordinary way to begin the history of the human species. The human beings who are invited to be Muwahideen, people of Tawheed. And Allah tells the angels, Ustudu li Adam, bow down to Adam. <laughs> Very strange. And the Iblis, of course, is the one who rejects. Why? Because he's not open with his heart, he's using his mind. He's trying to think things through. The mind has limits. The spirit has no limits. When the Lord speaks, you submit. We hear and we obey. But what the angels are bowing down to is not his 